Today, folks, it's Species Sunday, but I want to talk about bacteria. I don't know really the species of it, but it's important. And uh, I talked about it last week when I had the balancing issues and I got the algae in the tanks and how to keep those free. So I want to stick with it here. I want to talk about bacteria and the nitrogen cycle. Okay, so as we know, fish poop and that causes ammonia, okay, or uh, NH3, all right, which is highly toxic to fish. This is why you. Um, when you don't leave, you don't leave fish in your bag, and if they poop, the fish, you know, the fish poop will ultimately kill them pretty quickly. Uh, it's also why you don't feed your fish before you put them in bags to ship them or take them places. That's a good little trick for you all. So, um, what happens then, though, is there's bacteria, and it's in your filter. Uh, it's also in your subject, what we're going to talk about more. But um, this bacteria, it's broken down by nitrosomas, which break it down um, using oxygen to make nitrite. Okay, nitrite. Um, so that's NO2, which is slightly less toxic to fish, although it does something with their uh, bloodstream. I don't know the exact details of it, but it is toxic to them. Uh, next, the nitrobacteria break nitrite down into nitrate, okay? And nitrates are toxic only at really high levels, okay? And then anaerobic bacteria, um, anaerobic means no oxygen, um, those break down the nitrates to change, uh, to, to take the oxygen and release the nitrogen, so it goes from uh, NO3 to the N gets released, and that's what our plants use. Our plants use the nitrogen, okay? So we don't go directly from fish poop uh, to plant food. Uh, well, plants do absorb a little bit of ammonia, but um, it's broken down. So we got these nitrosomas and we got this nitrobacteria. So we want a bunch of this bacteria, and folks, this takes time to happen, okay? Um, I've talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about it again. Um, you want to have your bacteria load and give it time to establish, okay? And I'll give you examples of this. I used to have really horrible algae in all these tanks before I had uh, the sand put in here, okay? So uh, once it's in there, now I've got a nice uh, bed in there with all this the, you know, bacteria going on. So I think it's really, really important. That's why you add fish slowly and you take your time. And this takes weeks, months. The slower you go, the better you go. Uh, how do we get this? We use large filter pads. Uh, I like these ones. Um, they got the like, porous sponges, and these are actually all I use in my filters. I don't use any sort of flossing material, but these are real good, lots of surface area. And you never want these to get uh, entirely like the water flow to stop. You don't want to like unplug your filter for more than like 20 minutes or so. So you want the water to always be circulating through to keep them alive here. Also, more importantly, and, and, and why you have like a bigger established tank is in your substrate, folks. You got your bacteria, your beneficial bacteria in your substrate. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say the dirty tank as well because you got more of the substrate, um, is where this bacteria lives and grows. So the goal here is you want 